Hello everyone, welcome to the Brianna Talk Show. I'm your host, Brianna Young. Today, we have a special guest with us here all the way from South Korea. Please welcome Haru in Korea. <laughs> welcome to the show, Haru. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, this, this is just such an honor. Yes, it's been such an honor for us too. Wouldn't you agree, audience? Actually, Haru, you suck! Someone please get him out of here. Hey, you can't kick me out of here. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, check the analytics! <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, getting to watch you grow from zero to where you are now, I mean, honestly, just wow. It's almost unbelievable. I mean, do you have any advice for other aspiring YouTubers out there. Well, I mean, my main advice would just be don't check the analytics. And also, don't compare yourself to other channels. I mean, you should go into your channel and work on your channel with the knowledge that your channel is the best. I mean, because it's your channel, it's yours. Wow, no, Haru, that is just beautiful words of advice. Haru, I love you! I love you, Haru! <laughs> And I mean, just, I'm sorry, just honestly, it's just so touching to see the effect that you have on your fans. Now Haru, I hear that you recently got your second payout from YouTube. Is that true? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, don't keep it so secretive. I mean, Haru, come on. What are you planning to do with all of your earnings? Well, first things first, you will never and I mean never catch me working another 9 to 5 job again. I mean, that's just, that's not the life for me. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> of course, Haru, I don't, I don't think you're ever gonna have to worry about that again. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Well, I mean, I am planning on moving into a much bigger house with just me, my boyfriend, and my cow. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Haru. I'm. I'm a little confused. Did you say you have a cow? Oh, I haven't told you guys yet? Oh my goodness, yes. He is quite a big cow, and because of that, we need a lot of extra space in our house. <laughs> Would you like to see him? Well, yes, I think we'd all like to see, right? <laughs> well, here he is. Oh. oh my, my. My goodness, indeed, that is that is quite a big boy. Are you sure that he's not some kind of new species? Are you sure he's a cow? I mean, he's <laughs> he's rather big. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's what the vet told me, but I, I do agree, he is, he is quite big. <laughs> I see. Well, Haru, I wish you nothing but success for you and your cow and your family. I appreciate that. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. If you are not subscribed to Haru's channel, please make sure to go ahead and do that now for a chance to win a... Actually, I just checked our budget and we cannot afford a prize. Are you serious? These people are expecting a prize. Of course, rich people are supposed to give out prizes. Prize is off the table. <sighs> okay, all right, I got it. I, yeah, I got it. <sighs> anyway, as I've just been informed, for a chance to win unforgettable laughs. Anyway, Haru, thank you so much for being here with us today. Good luck on your YouTube journey. Well, thank you guys so much for having me here. I am so appreciative, and I hope I will see you guys on my channel. Bye. It's Haru and Kriya, and today, as you guys can see from the intro, I am going to be talking about how I got my second YouTube check, and I'm also going to be going on a little rant about my love-hate relationship with YouTube. So before we get into this video, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, and also, I feel like my subscribers are never growing, and I really, really would like to increase my subscribers and my engagement, so if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that before you get into this video. Yeah, let's get started. 
So as I said before, Brianna has finally gotten her second YouTube check. Well, I haven't actually gotten it. It's supposed to come in December, so it's in the next three weeks. But the only reason I was ever able to get monetized on YouTube is because back in 2020, my friend came to Korea during the whole entire quarantining process and she stayed at the government hotel. And because she went through that entire process, she made some videos about it. And that information was so relevant at that time. And people not only clicked on the video, they had to watch the entire way through because they needed that information. Like that information was very important at the time. And so because of that, I was able to get to 4,000 watch hours sometime in 2020 and by 2021 at the beginning my channel was monetized. So I have only gotten two YouTube checks since I started doing YouTube. The first one was at the end of 2021 for about $116 and the second one is coming at the end of December in 2023 for about $102. So that brings my total YouTube earnings as to date to $218 which you know in the grand scheme of big amazing YouTubers that literally means nothing but uh yeah the first check that I got I used on my credit card which was like maxed out at like two thousand dollars so it didn't even really make a dent and my second check I will just be putting into my savings account because I'm trying to save money to go back to America in the summertime so first I want to just state that I am very very proud of my channel I am very proud of the fact that I've even made 218 dollars I definitely spent more than that on my YouTube channel like I recently bought an 800 dollars camera I spend money on on a site so that I can use non-copyrighted songs. I also spend money sometimes on this site called Fiverr and I found somebody to help me, you know, with putting certain keywords into my tags and description so that hopefully it can lead more people to my channel. But anyway, I am still proud of the money that I've made from YouTube. You know, it's money that I'm getting from doing a hobby, even though I spent a lot of money on this hobby, but I'm still proud of it. I'm also proud of all 1,500 and as of now 66 subscribers on my channel. Some people never even get to reach 1,000 and I am very, very proud of that. And I'm just proud of all of you guys who are here with me on my journey. With that being said, I am going to go on a little rant and I don't ever want to seem like I'm unappreciative of my channel and my subscribers and the people who watch me and all of those great things. I am so, so, so blessed for all the opportunities that I have. But I do have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. The reason why I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube is I honestly cannot figure out out what I am doing wrong on YouTube. I cannot figure it out at all. I feel like I put so much effort into my videos and prior to 2020, I don't think my videos were that good. I don't even have to say I don't think. I know my videos were not good prior to 2020. Like I did not know how to hold the camera. I didn't know how to film at all. I couldn't talk to the camera correctly. Uh, my quality was not good. My thumbnails were not good. Titles were not good. You know, pre-2020, I understand my channel was not good. So 2020 came and I had six weeks off of work and I just put my effort into making videos. And ever since then, I was really passionate about making videos and I was really determined to grow my channel. Now, when I say I want to be a successful YouTuber, I literally mean I just want to see my channel grow. I would love to have 10,000, 20,000 subscribers. That would be a dream come true to me. I couldn't even imagine. Honestly, I can't even imagine 5,000 subscribers right now because I've kind of been stuck at the same spot so long. So just like 10,000 or 20,000 subscribers, I would be like, oh my goodness, wow, I'm, I, I did it. Like I'm reaching my goals. But it seems like no matter what I do, my channel does not grow and I don't understand why at all. I don't understand it. And it makes me very, very sad and frustrated because I feel like for me, YouTube is like an art form. Like I really enjoy doing YouTube videos. I really enjoy making skits. I really enjoy giving advice to people. And honestly, I kind of like hearing myself talk. And I also just, I like making a video and editing it and uploading it and seeing my work come to life. Like I'm very, very proud of that. And so because it's like an art to me and I think I do a really good job, like I think my videos are pretty good. It's a little bit discouraging when I put so much effort into a video and I think it's an amazing piece of art. And then I go and I check my analytics and clearly my analytics are telling me that my videos are not art and they're not good at all. And I know my videos are good and so it just is really, I mean I can't really think of a better word than just disheartening or discouraging or saddening when I upload a video and I think it's amazing and then I see that nobody's watching it or nobody's 
people might click on it and then click away or I, I just I really don't get it because I see other youtubers and other people in Korea and I feel like I mean aside from like big youtubers like of course I'm not gonna have the quality content that they have and you know the subtitles and you know all the ideas and productions they have not even comparing to that <laughs> But you know, like smaller big YouTubers as I call them, like 20,000 subscribers, 30,000, 40,000. I don't really see that big of a difference in my videos compared to their videos. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I, I don't get it at all. I invested in a better camera. I went from making terrible thumbnails, honestly not even caring about my thumbnails, to putting a lot of effort into my thumbnails. I think about my titles for a while. I think about the content that I want to make. I make skits. I try to be different. Like, I just don't understand understand where I'm going wrong <laughs> like I just don't get it so if you guys have any idea please let me know in the comment section down below like I just don't understand at all and one of the things that I was wondering is like maybe should I not try to be different maybe should I literally just be the same and that's very hard for me because I don't like being like everybody else but I'm like maybe that's what YouTube promotes to other people is everybody else and I do try to be different because if I lose myself in making videos then I don't really see the point in making the videos because this is a hobby for me and I would like it to turn into something bigger but at the end of the day I want to be myself on these videos and these videos have helped me so much in becoming myself or like finding myself. I never felt comfortable showing my true self for majority of my life. Like if I was at school, I would try to, you know, hide my personality and myself or I would try to be a chameleon and fit with other people so that they didn't judge me. But then I started doing YouTube in 2020 when I was lonely and I was just in my apartment and I had nobody except my camera and people who were watching me, which back in 2020 was not many, and I finally started being myself, you know? I, I felt like I could be myself around the camera, my silly, goofy self who just dances and makes random noises and, you know, like, that's who I am and I never want to lose myself in my channel. I never want to stop doing skits even if people think I'm being weird. I never want to stop being different because that's who I am and I've hidden for long enough. But at the same time, I'm like, does YouTube not promote that? Like, I don't get it because I make these videos and, you know, some people are like, wow, your content's so good and creative. I love it. So I'm like, okay, that's great. Am I only like appealing to like a very small audience? Do only certain people like this content? Or is it just that my content's not getting put out there and more people would like it if they saw it? So I really have a love-hate relationship because I love YouTube so much. It is my biggest hobby, my biggest accomplishment. One of the things I am most proud of, I love going back and watching my old videos and just being super happy to see the time that I spent with my friends or my family or my boyfriend or just seeing the time that I spent with myself like and seeing how much I've grown. I love that, I love that so much. But as much as I love it, I then check my results and I see other channels and I'm like, what are they doing differently, you know? I also don't want to be depressed about YouTube. You know, YouTube is something that has always brought me joy and so if I'm sitting here checking my analytics like depressed every time you know I lose a subscriber or suddenly getting some type of immense excitement because I got one new comment on my video you know that's not healthy and I don't want to be like that but with that being said I am very very grateful for all of you guys who have decided to join me on my journey on YouTube I get so much joy when I see you guys's comments and I don't get a lot of comments anymore but the comments that I do get I appreciate appreciate so much like I have people telling me like my videos give them joy when they're depressed or like they've had a terrible day and they watch my videos and they feel like calm and relaxed and I love that it means a lot to me and I hope them too I also have people telling me that my content is very unique and very different and also very down to earth which I like being down to earth but that's how I want to feel on YouTube because that's how YouTube has made me feel it made me feel comfortable and open to be myself and to just completely take off the mask and be like well here's Brianna you can like watching her or you cannot like watching her like this is who I am and just make sure that I'm making content for myself and making content that I enjoy and that makes me happy and hopefully as I'm producing content that makes me happy you know people come along with that you know viewers come if you guys have any thoughts about why my channel has never seemed to grow please I would be so interested in hearing them or if you have any suggestions or content you would like to see that you think would be good for my channel also please let me know in the comment section down below uh, I feel like my channel is very random and all over the place and maybe I should have made like a smaller niche maybe that could have also been a problem but I also just like having a variety but with 
the variety also comes with, I don't know why a lot of you guys are here. You know, I don't know if you're here for teaching videos. I don't know if you're here because you saw me in my boyfriend's videos. I don't know if you're here because of my dating story times. I don't know why a lot of you guys are here. Maybe you're just here for my vlogs, but I would love to hear why you guys are here. If you like a specific niche or if you guys like the randomness, regardless of the answer, I will still be putting a variety of things on my channel because I would find it very hard to stick to one niche. But you know, maybe being like, oh, Maybe I should focus more on that because that's what most of my viewers are here for, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna keep trying to reach my goals and I hope one day that it happens. I really hope that it happens one day and I'm gonna keep pushing and trying until it does. And if it doesn't, then at least I can go back and look at my old videos and be proud of the times that I had and be able to see all of those great memories with friends, family, boyfriend, you guys, I really appreciate it. But anyway, yeah, please leave a comment down below. Please give this video a like, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you're not, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.